Hi, what's your name? Dominic. John. Dominic Dunn. Yeah. Great name, great name. And then um, we'll just get straight into how would you how would you think that the enemy would describe your music? Well, um, I aspire to be a folk artist. The, um, you know, bred into folk, all the aspects of it. You know, it's a song that tells a story. So the likes of Love and Sons, that kind of thing. Yeah, Sons, uh, Ben Allen, Warren Marlin, and Sam McGarth from Cold. Like, what's right. it going to be? Oh, yeah. It's like the classics. Oh, yeah. The early British Springsteen. Oh, things like that. Absolutely. Well, when he's on for three hours, and um, it's like Born to Run Out. Yeah, the River the Ghost of Tom Jones. And that. Absolutely, yeah. So you're in a good market because it's very popular, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, the shoe game. Especially, especially now, the um, industry looking right into it, it's one of the main scenes of the world. Well I was saying the other day that um, the Mumford and Sons are like the biggest band in the They've only been going for about two years. Unbelievable. So it's happened into the big scene I think. So what, what inspired you to get into the folk music was your mum and dad? I mean I've listened to every and listened to every genre of music oh, yeah. from punk, like the clash and my, like that. That's my bad mate. To like reggae. So, um, you seem pretty young. I know how old you are, but how old are you? 15. 15. Can't believe it, mate. Can't believe it. So, your friends with Ian Prowse, that great leader of yeah. Pele, and now it's done. How did you get to know Ian? I've been to his Monday night clubs for a while. And, and then, this Monday, Monday night club is uh, at the Cabin Club in Liverpool, isn't it? And what, what's, what's his three rules? Do you remember? Yeah, I know. I know the rules because I go tell him I'm the. He always tells me I'm the person, the only person he's ever asked to do the rules. Oh, right. Yeah, it's and only you get away with it. Um, there's no covers. Yeah. There's, it's not going to be three songs. Yeah. He, he sometimes makes me three four. So he, <laughs> That's the rule breaker. He breaks the rule for me, yeah. And what, what's, what's the final rule? If, if you're better than him, you get far out. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but you're still coming back, so you've got some way to go. Yeah. But he's yeah. the master, isn't he? Yeah, he's, 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 the, he's the master. He's and, and he, has, great he has a um, cure of talent. He has so. joked about Barnum and Young. Where can people hear your, hear, and more importantly, buy your music? Sounds well, bad. at the moment. I mean, I've been playing since I was eight. The guitar. I've been gigging, I've been gigging since I was nine. Yeah, okay. but, um, I've only started gigging like weekly for just over a year now. So um, I'm up to now. I'm giving CDs away at gigs. Okay. So that's the only way people can hear my music. I'm on SoundCloud and things like that. Well, okay. If you want a CD and you want to be able to hear my content, you can give these away for it. Well, what, a, what a great marketing. Because everyone loves that price, don't they? Everyone loves that price. So, um, but um, I am open to get the um, I'm in the studio in really January, and then by the new year, I'm open to get on iTunes, Bandcamp, things like that. Absolutely. So, um, where, where are you doing your, your demo? Where are you doing the team? I'm working with two of my friends who are opening a um, studio. Yeah, a studio, but it's like a, it's, it's like a shed studio. Yeah, it's like home recording equipment, but it's, it's brilliant. Well, you know, let's face it, the big studios are really struggling, like Parsons and Liverpool. It's going, but everyone has got the facility to record at home now, haven't they? But so, I mean, all, all the songs I've recorded up to now have been in um, Crosstown Studios, which is a brilliant studio. What's it called? Crosstown. Crosstown. It's, it's on the top road to Liverpool. Okay. It's um, the fella, John Gordon, just took the works one. It's a good eulogy. So, um, you obviously got to play at this um, this festival today with Fox and Goose and Southport. What's it called? Do you remember? It's called Bands of Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. Which is a great idea in Southport. It's a great act on. And how did you get, how did you get the gig? When, when we were looking forward to seeing you before, it was the Monday Night Club on the 17th of December. It was fantastic. Loved what you did. And um, when can we see you again in the concert in 2000? 
2013. I'm now playing a weekly, sometimes every night of the week, in the, the beer keller. Okay. In my girl one. That's just opened up. Oh, brilliant. But, um, you know, if people follow me on, fe on uh, Facebook, which is Dominic Dunn forward slash 22, like, oh, you can get me. Um, Update everything that goes on there. So, so why is it 22? Uh, it's, if you type in www.facebook.com forward slash Dominic Dunn 22, it's a quick way to uh, get yeah. to my Facebook page. Why 22? 20, 20, oh, 22nd <laughs> January. Okay, yeah, so, I'm, I'm so all the girls can send you the cards then. Nearly 16. Good on you, mate. Good on you. So, what's your ambition? Um, do, you, do you really, really want it? Like the X Factor? Well, I wouldn't take the X Factor route to get it. Good on it. Um, but put it I there, do. Put it there. Because what does Ian say about the X Factor? Oh no, I don't think we can say. We can't repeat that. Can't 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 no. can't I, mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, we do get some great stars like we have a Becky Fitch and people like that. Yeah. Great. But um, I, I would personally rather go out on a Saturday night and watch a series of bands who have rehearsed once or twice a week to do a 45 minute set. Yeah. Than sit in and watch one person do uh, one song that they've had the gears was for all week on vocal coaching. But end, uh, but end up, it's 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 poor, isn't it? Yeah. Quality, even the even the main acts like Rihanna, it's all like a club they go through to the American X Factor, the Australian X Factor, all the same acts, and they're poor, the poor vocally, yeah. you know, yeah. um, appalling really. So I think the Monday Night Club, the Monday Club, Graham Browse, is fantastic. We've got a, a real community spirit, and I think that sets us apart there. The acts have all got conviction, and that's why Ian talks about conviction singers. Sod the Eagles, I love them, yeah, I love them a bit, but conviction, not too sure. Um, people like Luke and Sons, Bob Dylan, um, Simon Garfunkel, conviction, you know, and you've got it, I love your songs. So, um, you, you find a lot of where do you want to be in say five years? I just want to be successful in, in the, being a musician. Well, as well as being a musician, I also organise one to age events. Because okay. I'm only 15, I'm you're a as well, aren't you? I do promotions. Have yeah, you got your business card? I'll put it in later. But what can you explain to me? I was really impressed on your business card. It's very simple. It's got your Facebook, your email, whatever. But you've got this code, this, this yeah, the what's QR code. QR code. And what if you scan that? The that QR code, that takes you straight to my bank account. Does it? So who thought that? Is that you? Um, I want some more people to download the band app because it's a quick way of getting access to my information. Yeah. Um, that's coming up, gigs. So, um, people will find it difficult. Yeah. So, like, cause if, you got up, if you got it up on your phone, you couldn't scan it because it was already on your phone. Um, the only way they could do it was sitting on a computer and scanning it. So, it was getting people like, oh, God, I can't watch it now, I'm leaving. Just then it decided to get on my business card because people could just go back quickly and do it. I just think that's a fantastic idea. You know, obviously, a tech guru, you're only 15. Full of bright ideas. I wish you all the very, very best of these on. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I don't know why you